Hello, welcome back to C Programming, Graphic Programming with C. I am Shaji. In this video, we are going to see how to draw a line using a algorithm. So, in this uh, program, in this C program, we are going to see how to draw a line without using the circle function, which is already defined in the graphics dot h. Instead of that, we are using we are using our own uh, method, not exactly our own. There is a famous algorithm called a DDA algorithm. We are using the algorithm, DDA algorithm for drawing a line. So let us see how this algorithm is being implemented to draw a line. So as we have discussed in the last video, we know that there should be two points for the line, one starting point as well as an ending point. In, and in each point, there will be one x value and y value for each points. So there will be four values needed for a line to draw. So here we have included the standard header files here at the top and we have a function here. This function is a user defined function or our own function. The name of the function is draw and the return type is void. After uh, executing this function it is not going to return any value so we are going to give void type for the draw function and there are four arguments in it x1 y1 x2 y2 and all are of integer type as we have already discussed we need four values for two points to draw a line so this function will receive these four values and according to the values which we have supplied with this function this will draw the circle so it is necessary for the c programming language to get the prototype before using the function that's why we have uh, given the prototype of draw function at the top before calling draw here in this points and the real uh, functionality of the function draw is implemented here in this block at the end so we have given the prototype at the board at the top so that the compiler can understand the function the name of the function return type as well as the arguments the number of arguments and the type of arguments so in this program the in the main uh, main function we are using four values four variables to store four values x1 y1 x2 y2 so the beginning point values and the end point x y values and we are going to use a graph in the program for initializing the graphics and we need the driver and mode to be initialized using this function in graph the driver variable g driver and mode variable g mode both are defined here when there is one more integer variable defined that is g error in case of any error to display the error okay init graph g driver ampersand g driver ampersand g mode when this init graph is executed the g driver will detect its driver and mode will get a graphics mode into the system so that the system will be ready for drawing the drawing whatever we wanted to draw using the graphics mode and we are giving print of n enter x y values for the starting point and in the next scan of we are receiving the x x1 and y1 one more x y values for the ending point here we are receiving x2 2 and we are going to give a message here okay i am going to remove that line draw x1 y1 x2 y2 so we are calling the function draw function and it is done the circle sorry the line is going to be drawn in the usual case this is okay but this draw function which is defined here in our program using dda algorithm dda algorithm is a technique in which we have to supply the points 
starting point as well as the ending point with the x y one value because we are going to draw the line in a two dimensional plane so it require four values in the function we are declaring x y x increment y increment dx dy and the function is already supplied with x1 y1 x2 y2 when it is being called from the main function and there is one more variable k and one more variable step all are of integer variables we are going to calculate dx and dy dx is the slope in x axis and dy is the slope in y axis so we wanted to get the slope so the method is difference between x2 and x1 will give dx and the difference between y2 and y1 will give the dy if abs of dx greater than abs of dy then do this so which one is greater depends on that value when that value the step value will change step value we can define other uh, either dx or dy depends upon which value is greater if dx is greater then step value is going to be dx if dy is greater then the step value dy is going to be assigned as step value and here we have subtracted x2 from x1 and there is a possibility of getting negative values we are using the ab absolute to take up the negative value and to make just get the value uh, by skipping the negative symbol from the line so we are using this absolute we want the absolute value we don't want the negative values so we will find the slope and if dx is there we will use dx as the uh, step values if dy is greater then we will use dy as the step value and next x increment we are going to find x increment and y increment so the purpose of x increment and y increment is this line is drawn with the help of number of dots if you have a dot at the starting position and if you have a dot at the ending position by joining all the dots in between by making the dots in between throughout the line we draw a line that is the logic behind all the line drawing algorithm and here in dda also it is the same in the dda algorithm we are going to find the incremental value how much we should increment in x axis and how much we should increment in y axis that is being determined by dx by step dy by step x increment equal to dx by step and y increment equal to dy by step and now x equal to x1 and y equal to y1 because x and y are the local variables which we are using here in our uh, in this uh, function draw and x1 y1 are the values supplied by the main function which is being transferred to our program our function and we using one primitive the very primitive graphic function that is put pixel this put pixel is used to plot a point put pixel uh, we have three arguments first one is the x value second one is y value and third one is the color which color you want to use the put pixel to plot the point you can use put, put pixel function x y comma y so it will plot a small dot in the area x comma y with a color but that's what happening here so the starting point we have already mentioned by putting a dot then what we are doing we have a for loop in this for loop in this for loop x equal to x plus x increment so we are going to increment the value of x with x increment and y with y increment and again we are going to put the pixel up to where up to the loop up to the for loop for the for loop there is a variable k equal to 1 k less than or equal to step k plus plus 
then what is the step step is dy or dx which one is greater so the k will execute the number of times uh, that e that is equivalent to the value of either dx or dy which one is going to be greater so we have plotted a pixel by this pixel method at the beginning and again we are going to plot the rest of the pixels using this for loop and when this function is called from the main function draw we are going to draw the line using this program okay save this program run control f9 it's asking for a initial value and it is asking for another value the ending value and the line is plotted with a green color and this is a program please try the program by yourself by supplying that is for x1 and x2 y1 and y2 for the starting and x uh, ending xy values hope you have enjoyed this video please try the program by yourself and run and see the program how it is working so this is uh, in this program we are using only the primitive function that is put pixel by using dots by joining the dots we are going to draw a straight line using dda algorithm thank you for watching this video if you have any doubts or do you need any clarification about this program or anything in general please feel free to contact me my email id is it_teacher1@yahoo.com thank you for watching me have a nice day